Hello everybody, I'm Z Duke, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Forces. Now, if I sound a little bit off today, it's because I... Well, actually, I guess I got about nine hours of sleep, so I don't know why I'm complaining. Um, but the point is, I was up late. <clears throat> so, today, we're going to be doing Ramsey's Head, a trading port for smugglers. Um... I may have already read this, but probably not. No, yeah, that was in the episode that I deleted, because it was no good. Okay. Prix Medine informed us that the leader of the Dark Trooper Project is a general named Ramok. And I forgot to set up my timer again. Be right back. to the magic of editing, that three seconds was less than a tenth of a second. Yeah, guys, my editing skills have gotten seriously better from doing this let's play. Um, uh, named Ramak, you might remember him from your time of the Empire. A decorated soldier of the Clone Wars, Mok became very prominent during the Empire's Emperor's rise to power. He was one of the few generals to oppose the construction of the Death Star because of his distrust of any technology that separates the warrior from battle and engaging with the enemy. He's absolutely obsessed with the honor of personal combat. Maidin further reports that the Dark Troopers have three phases of construction. The first one is in the Gromus Mines, which you so effectively blew to bits. I got stuck! Where they mine the alloy resource, Frick. Yes, that's actually what it's called. It's not Frank, I was wrong. The resulting alloy is then transported to the robotics facility, where it is treated and refined. Have we gone there yet? I think... No, yeah, that was the last part we just went to. The alloy is taken to a special space cruiser, the Ark Hammer, where a final composition and assembly of the Dark Trooper takes place. The locations for the robotics facility and the Ark Hammer are still unknown. Okay, so no, we haven't done the robotics facility yet. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite mission, the robotics facility. <clears throat> mission, our next focus will be to find and destroy the robotics facility. General Mach has solicited the help of an underworld kingpin unknown to us at this time. The kingpin supplies Mach with smugglers to move his raw goods to different facilities. Maidine, before his capture, was able to find that one of the routes that the smugglers use starts from Ramsey's head, a spaceport on the planet Calcetti. Placing this tracking device in the engine port at the rear of the smuggler ship should lead us straight to the robotics facility. Great. Place the tracking device on the smuggler ship. I don't even have to get out this time. Whoosh. Oop. Sorry. I know it's louder for you guys, but I gotta turn it up so I can hear. Oh! So, um, remember how I said this is the only... This game is the only time Stormtroopers ever hit anything. Well, the first, like, three scenes of, uh, A New Hope, or oh, Hello There, um, in the first three scenes of that, um, it shows the Stormtroopers massacring everybody, and the Rebel Troops seriously suck. So... And it makes me wonder why Kyle Katarn stopped working for the Empire. Although, I guess blowing up planets is kind of a pretty good reason to stop working for somebody. Screw you, I don't need authorization. Okay, but the fact that there's Imperial troops here... ...probably signifies that the smugglers here are working with them. Boy, is there nothing back- No, there's a secret back here, I swear. Guess not. Um, anyway... I tried to start this level the other day, <clears throat> and anyway, that footage was lost. You'll never see it. It was crappy. Oh, I, damn elevator! I need to disembark. Oh, button! Oh, oh! Like explosions! Oh, oh god, explosions! Oh, 
And these guys, the Camorian cards, they look like ugly fat green pigs. You'll probably remember them. Oh, yellow cave. You will probably remember them from Java's sale barge. Ooh! <gasps> more mortar shells! Hooray! This is the other place you can get a mortar gun if you miss it in detention center. That's what those do. Yeah, they're all over this ship. Hooray! We have explosives to- What's that button do? If I could hit the fucking thing. Oh. Does that. Let's just shove you back up into the ceiling. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm on very low shields. What's up there? Huh? Oh, that actually is a door. This is a secret then. Ho! Oh, oh. No! Go up! Down. Um, there are shields in this room. Why did I do that? I knew that was gonna happen. What? You're not dead. thermal detonators. Let me in, please. Oh, I can jump over these boxes? That would have been useful to know. Okay, now I remember that this was different. <laughs> oh, criminy Christmas. Maybe if I turn down the music volume, it won't be so bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's the problem, guys. Like, I doubt any of you know, but trying to let's play this game is very difficult because, um, let's playing is all about balance, and this game is just hell for audio balance. <laughs> oh, shooty! Sorry about being quiet. Um, I was just concentrating. Oh, come on! That is not fit. Seriously? Just red? Oh, I think I know what's going on here. Oh, I understand everything now. This makes so much sense. Okay, it doesn't, but still. I mean, I know what I'm doing. I just don't know why. Okay, lit. And you dropped some grenades for me. Hang on. Seriously, somebody please patch up and down look movement into the mouse. You patch left and right into the mouse. I want some horizontal plus minus axis. Horizontal axis plus minus movement. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm looking... Okay, no, hang on. Came this way. Came this way. I was like, uh, no, hang on, what? I guess... No, there was a smaller lift. Or... Oh, never mind, I'm just gonna jump down here. Oh my goodness, I have really low health. Oh, and I'm on full thermal damage. How much is that? Fifty. Go two. 
338. Nope, yep, definitely gonna stick with this gun. I need to stop taking damage. Yeah, this level will almost certainly max out your, um, thermal detonators. Wait, there's checkpoints? Of course there's checkpoints. I just don't know when they are. Uh, I don't what I being used to. I thought it was gonna crush me. Well, that's what I get for again. Well, no, that's that's from like past experiences with this game. The other one was from playing too much Halo. Yeah, his axe protects him from a lot of damage, but. 309, 317. Huh? Ow. That well, looks like that's a sprint jump. <sighs> whoop de doodly whoop de doo, whoop de doodly whoop doo. Sorry if this episode's a bit longer than most. I don't really know why. I mean, well, I, of course I know why. I just felt like making it that way. Seriously? Is this one of those lifts? I, I want to know what's over there. Open up. <gasps> it's... Actually, I think I may have not supposed to be here. No, no, I know that- I know where I am. Although I can kind of see why stormtroopers never hit anything, not that I'm using this stupid before. Mines! And mortar shells and shields and health. Hooray! Now I just need more lives. And then I will feel safe. Oh wait, I don't need shields. Awesome. Seriously, how do I get hit by... Excuse me, a stormtrooper. Hang on, how much of a drop down is this? Okay, no, not that much. I thought it was like death. Oh, it was enough to hide that medical unit. Why did I just waste 10 shield units? Is this gun more accurate? Oh my god, I love this gun. Now I, th I think I can kind of see... I think I can kind of see why I was using this gun throughout most of my previous playthrough. Besides the reason that... People told me to use it. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, no. Not going in there. Don't know what that is yet. And, oh no. Oh, what the bug? Okay, I'll just leave y'all to your business. The funny thing is, if you interrupt them, they'll actually kill you. But yes. Oh, Oi! Shh! 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 Ow. I know what that is. Gotcha. Wait, is he still alive? Meh. Nah. There's something down there, though, and I do want it. Ow! I get up there. Although, thank you. Ooh, red key. I can now open the door to the bathroom. And thanks for the shield. I needed that. Uh oh. 
weapon supercharge. Oh, come on, I can't get up there? Mm, stupid, stupid. No, no, I'm getting up there. Mm. Darn it. See, see, I can make that jump. Why couldn't I make the other one? And why do I have this stupid weapon supercharged that doesn't do anything? Actually, no, I think I left some shields with that shields down there. Okay, now, wait, hang on, what's that? No, no, that's just part of the door texture. But there was an item. Yeah, I know, it's running out. It don't, won't matter anyway, it's useless. No, I'm not going to engage the people in the bathroom. It's optional. <sighs> you know, since I was learning about game design the other day... Okay, since I was learning about game design the other day... I might as well tell you guys something interesting and slightly funny about this game. This is a, this is a 1995 game. Um, it is almost 21 years old. Um, and uh, the thing I was learning about was the TTK or Time to Kill. Um, Blue Key, please. Uh, and what they were talking about was that, in, like, in Call of Duty and stuff, you have a time to kill of 0.05 seconds. Well, not 0.05, but 0.5. Very low. Uh, it only takes a couple of rounds. But, like, the thing, and what I was noticing about this game is that I could just stand there and tank enemy firepower for, like, good 15 seconds. And not die. Um, so I guess that kind of makes me a little bit OP. Man, there's so many places in this ship that I can see but can't get to. Why did I need the blue key again? It's explosives. I cannot take explosives. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't gonna do that, but I'm confused. But hang on. Gift? Okay, no, I know where this gift goes. The loose loot doesn't despawn. Okay, don't need help. Help. Hello. Weapon swapping doesn't take so much time. Shield, thank you. I guess the game does get a little bit harder. Ah, oh, yes, yes, this is where I'm meant to be. This is why I needed the blue key. There's a blaster ammo up there. Oh, and there's shields up there. See, the game is just taunting me because those are physicsless props, and the only way to get up there is oh, 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 ha, 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 It's over here. Ziff. Anyway, fun fact about this crate texture: I liked it so much, I made it into a Minecraft texture. Um, I was making a space space texture pack for Minecraft. It never got anywhere. But the thing is, you can't actually get up there without cheating, and it's depressing. Um. Huh? Huh? Oh. 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 Shields. Shields. Okay, sorry about that. 
Uh, but the thing is, I'm always quiet when I'm shooting and stuff, because I've reviewed the footage. My audio does not come out nearly loud enough. One mortar shell. Uh, anyway, this door is the blue key door. And if I had come into Cargo Bay first, well, then it would have added more time onto the level. But I forgot that I was supposed to, you know, suspension on suspension all that. Now, but anyway, it was really just random chance whether I got stalled at that door first or got the blue key first. And now I have 500 ammo for this gun. <laughs> Also, carrying capacity. In this game, you get 9 weapons, or maybe 10, I can't remember, it's either 9 or 10, and you can carry 50 grenades, and in Echo, you get 2 weapons, and 4 grenades, and I haven't actually played Call of Duty, so I can't just rattle off those stats. Objective. That was painful. Oh dear. Okay, so this episode was 20 minutes long instead of the type of team that I planned to make it. But anyway, it was long enough. Thank you all for watching. I've been Zaduke, signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.